Hello everybody, Mark here with the Electric Viking and today I'm at the tech launch for the Zika 9X. This is Zika's new flagship super hybrid, as they're calling it, SUV. This is basically a rival to the Range Rover, even to the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. It has been dubbed the the Hangzhou Bay Cullinan by, by some fans because of its appearance. I'll show you the main body in just a second, but I wanna show you around some of the tech that they've revealed at this event. They haven't shown us the interior, except a quick sneak peek of it, but they haven't given us full details of the interior. But some very impressive tech on this car. Let's take a quick look. So this is the platform for the Zika 9X, their new hybrid, super, super hybrid SUV. It's Zika's first hybrid car. Of course, all their other cars are electric. This one is hybrid and it's built, you can just see just down there, on the SEAS platform. All Zikas are built on the SEA platform. It is actually owned by Zika, that platform. So all the other manufacturers that use it do have to work with Zika to get it customized for themselves. But this is the S. The S has not been used yet on any other car. S, I believe, stands for kind of sports. And sport is an interesting word to use with a hybrid car, especially an SUV. But I think it's pretty well justified in this car. Let me tell you why I think so. So like any standard hybrid, it does come with an engine. This one comes with a specially developed two liter turbocharged engine. I believe it produces 145 kilowatts of power. So it's one of the most powerful hybrid engines because most hybrids don't tend to get an engine that's super powerful. This one needs to be, because it needs to be able to charge this car on the move. And it's got a pretty big battery. I'll come onto that in a second. So it comes with, as I said, a two liter turbocharged engine at the front, 145 kilowatts, and it's got three electric motors. So one on the front and two on the back for a total output of 1,040 kilowatts, about 1,400 horsepower. So it's crazy powerful, this thing. And it will do zero to 100 in 3.1 seconds. So they actually did a live, well not a live, uh, they did a drag test video with this versus a Ferrari Purosang, a Lamborghini Huracan, and a Porsche 911. And this actually beat all of them in the drag race. Now there's probably an element of, of drama in there, but I did check and Huracans can accelerate as fast as 2.9 seconds, I think, from zero to 100, but up as little, as, mu as much as 3.4 seconds. So it is possible that this could out sprint a Huracan. They showed us a kind of a table of the fastest SUVs accelerating. And this was second place behind the Lotus Elettra, which does zero to 100 in just 2.96 seconds. Now, let me introduce you to some of the more key details about this, because this is where it gets really interesting. Let's turn down to the reflection in the floor. As you can see, we have a battery up here. It's a big ass battery on the 9X, 70 kilowatt hours. It will charge at 6C, does a electronic only range of 380 kilometers, which are 20 to 80% in nine minutes and 10 to 80% in under 11 minutes. So it's incredibly, well, it's basically, it, it, they didn't tell us the full range of the car, presumably in excess of a thousand kilometers, but the electric only range, 380. There's no other hybrid on the market that can do 380. That's pretty outrageous. And of course, because you get that power delivered through three electric motors, it drives very much like an electric car as well. You'll notice here, by the way, we also have dual chamber closed air suspension. Apparently even a Range Rover Sport doesn't come with dual chamber closed air suspension. So it should have a better ride quality than that. They actually did a test between this car and the Rolls-Royce Cullinan through a slalom test up to, I think it was 55 or 60 kilometers per hour. And by the time the speed got really high, this thing was completely stable, only angling ever so slightly on each of the turns, whereas the Cullinan was all over the shop. Again, probably an element of drama in that. It didn't seem like the driver was doing quite as good in the Cullinan as he was in this, but maybe that's because the Cullinan doesn't handle as well as the 9X. As I mentioned, it is an SUV. You don't generally associate sports with SUV, even though it is the first letter of SUV, but this one actually genuinely stays very stable. And a few things to point out. So this here, they have this on the front and on the back, is basically like an active 
roll bar. So basically it keeps this car super stable all the time. They, it can, it can keep it stable around corners. Also, they did a test where, let's so say you're driving forwards and you see a car coming in from the side like this and the car basically judges whether you're gonna be hit by that car. And when it does, it immediately flips up the suspension on this side, lifts it up by, you know, on pretty much instantaneously to lift the cabin and protect you from that side impact collision so you don't get anybody crashing into the side of you, kind of straight into the doors, they'll get in on the sill, which is the stronger part of the car. And they also did a crosswind test with this as well. So that's so when you're driving past a truck and then you suddenly get that gust of wind, it tends to blow taller cars around. Not a problem with the 9X because it did stay totally stable in front of the fans. They actually showed it at gale force speeds, which is something like 28 meters per second of wind. So it was pretty stable on that side. It also comes with a lot of autonomous driving tech as well. Let me drive you over to this deck over here. So two things to mention. We have interior chips, twin Snapdragon 8295 chips. They're currently the best ones on the market. You get two of those. They handle your cabin sort of infotainment, make sure that's all nice and smooth and slick. And you also get twin NVIDIA Thor U chips. They are the current flagship from NVIDIA, 700 tops each. So 1,400 tops of processing power in total. And it does use the VLA, Vision Language Action Model, which basically interprets what the car is seeing into words and then translates that into an outcome. And you need that super processing power to be able to handle all of that data very quickly. So it's able to do things like, whereas a camera won't necessarily recognize that, let's say a bike wheel behind a truck is out of the ordinary. The language model can basically process that in a different way and say, oh, hang on that might be about to come out and hit us. Let's prepare ourselves in advance. So it does come with the super processing power. Also comes with five LiDAR units, not four, five LiDAR units. Two at the front, two at the side, and one at the back, as well as kind of scanning sort of horizontally. They also scan at the front and the back vertically as well to make sure that it can check. You're not gonna fall off a cliff or hit something higher up as well. So the LiDARs do both of those things on the front of this car, other than that, 43 sensors so you got all these cameras millimeter wave radars and stuff like that it of course does autonomous parking and it can do autonomous driving from parking space to parking space so that's kind of what this screen or this demonstration over here is showing it's showing the kind of same technology so it's zika's nzp autonomous driving platform they're showing it on the standard cars of course this one should be even more prepared because it is more powerful comes with way more tech way more sensing ability at the same time. So it's basically kitted out to be incredibly intelligent. Can of course read road surfaces and adjust the ride quality as well. They've also basically benchmarked this car against something like a Rolls Royce in terms of its off-road ability. I'd like to test that out in reality, see just how good that is. But certainly against the Cullinan and the Slalom test, it did very, very well. So those are the main things. I think I can tell you about the 9X. Let me quickly take you around the corner and show you what the real thing looks like. If you were at the Shanghai Auto Show earlier this year, you may have seen this. If not, well, here you go. So pre-orders are now available for this. No prices, but you can put a 5,000 RMB deposit down. As you can see, very much in the same vein as a Range Rover, in terms of the overall stance and aggressiveness of it. They've gone back to the design language of the 009 MPV for this, which I know Sam drove in Ningbo last year. So you see one of the key features is this sort of silver panel along the side here, which gives kind of, they say, the impression of a kind of a super yacht, something like that. I'll take you around to the back of the car, show you the details in the lights. They've got this kind of crystal designs. It looks like a multifaceted diamond, as they say across the back there. So that kind of wraps around at the bottom. Really quite stylish there. I'm not entirely sure where the LiDAR is on here, but apparently there is a LiDAR at the back. And as well as that, you get his big Zika logo in the middle. I'll also show you around the front of the car, but let's get onto the front, show you these lights here. There you go, check out the details. We've got the same multifaceted diamond details in there as well. Kind of like the, the galaxy in the, in the headlamps. And then you've got this beautiful kind of chrome grill. Some people might not like the big chrome grill. I like it. I think it looks very much in your face. It's a kind of a very aggressive looking car, this. I suspect it probably comes with Akebono brake calipers because a lot of other Zikas do. They didn't mention that. You can see a, a pedal there, an active step that's going to drop out so you can get into the back. As I said, the interior views did show that there's a fold down screen in the rear, zero gravity second row seats, almost certainly, of course, heating, ventilation and massaging functions 
as well. But there you go, that's it from us here at the law of the tech day of the Zika 9X.